Hello everyone, uh, this is Surte, today is 7th of uh, February and this is my channel where I talk about uh, cross stitch, uh, crochet, knitting, sometimes uh, other handcuffs that I do and uh, yeah, it's called red line handcuff. So it's been around a month since the last time and I have quite some things to show you, so let's uh, dive in. First, I'm gonna start with uh, some finishes. This is a first one. As you can see, it's not uh, perfectly ironed still. So this is temperature three, designed by Stitching Mommy Sarah, and I stitched it uh, on even weave, 28 count, one over one for the three part, and for the leaves I stitched. Um, two over one just to make them more bulky more 3d looking this is a joblin even weave i think the color is called star sapphire which is light green and this is my finish i started it on my birthday this year 17th of january and i finished it 21st of february and I said the month wrong. Jesus. It is March. Not February. Today is 7th of March already. Oh my god. Yeah. So that's that. Let's move on to the next finish. This is not ironed perfectly too. Just a bit. This is uh, Red Rose Hip by Riolis. It is also stitched on a Joblin Even Weave that I got from 1 to 3 stitch. This one is called, uh, I think, China Pearl. And uh, I stitched uh, over two threads of fabric. Originally in the kit it had uh, 14 count either, so size wise it's the same because it's 28 count uh, over two. And this is my finish. Before moving to the whips that I worked on this month, I want to give a qu quick shout out to Asia. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that name right. Asia is one of my viewers. Uh, hi! And uh, I really like uh, what she's doing. She watches pretty much all of my videos and uh, always make sure uh, to comment. It, it is really nice. Thank you, Asia. Let me know if I'm pronouncing it right in the comments. Uh, yeah, if you want to get a shout out like that, make sure you comment so that I know you're a regular viewer. Or maybe you just want to hear me butchering your name. <laughs> in that case, yeah, comment down below. But I, I am always really happy to get any comments, even if it's the shortest one. So let's move on to the whips, or works in progress. This is Maski or Masks by Zdele Svojimi Rukami, or do it with your own hands. This is a 14 count Ada that was originally in the kit. And uh, I started it uh, after the last video, 22nd of uh, February. And this is how much I've done so far. I've stitched uh, 10 days on this one so far. I'm not gonna say I like it, what I like about this kit. And let me show you how it's gonna look like once it's finished. What I like about this kit, they already have all the blends uh, prepped, sorted out for you. But uh, I'm not a huge fan of uh, working with this type of floss. It's not uh, that soft, it's not when you are going through the hole in the fabric, it makes a strange sound that I'm not a fan of. But this is uh, where it is right now. Another whip that I have been working on is Rainbow Tribal Monkey by Voyotas X-Stitch. This is how it's gonna look like once it's finished. I have, uh, if you haven't watched um, my earlier videos, um, I have this part stitched and now I'm working on the other side. 
I'm stitching on 18 count either that uh, was there in the kit but you could choose from different counts, different fabrics. I chose uh, 18 count Ada that was uh, white, but I coffee tea dyed it myself. And since the last time, I've uh, been mainly working on this area. And here, maybe, yeah. But uh, I didn't do much on this one because I finished some other whips and started uh, masks, though I was uh, planning to start uh, uh, masks from Rhina, Rhina Designs, but uh, before starting I double checked the fabric and I realized that it would not fit, so I decided to start uh, the masks that I showed you, and uh, yeah, now I have a strategy how to control my number of whips that I'm gonna show you right now and gonna talk about it more so hopefully it's at least a bit visible what i have is uh, basically chain strategy where i have uh, five chains two of them intertwined so first one is uh, dips and uh, projects uh, that have a uh, carnival masks in them so the first one is the one that i started um, mask by steli swim rukami and then once i finish this one I, and only then i can start another one either the blue rhino mask or the red one like in in between of the chain i can pick whatever the project is in the chain but uh, I can have uh, only one at the same time, so that prevents me from having a ton of whips. The second chain I came up with is uh, Rainbow Tribal Monkey that I already have. And once I finish this one, I can choose either uh, three chart by Masha Brovko, which was flowers. So I'm gonna insert uh, a picture here. And also I had in mind uh, Lady Sapachko or Lady with uh, uh, a dog. But uh, I'm not sure when I'm gonna start it. I still don't have um, a chart, PDF chart. And it's a Russian one. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get it. I marked places um, on the top right corner of each uh, design so that I know if I already have um, the chart or the kit and uh, if so K goes for the kit and uh, if I already have uh, floss for the chart I'm gonna mark plus on the left side so this chain is interesting because it's uh, it is intertwined with another chain, meaning if I finish something from this chain, I can start one and only one whip from the third chain, but uh, I cannot have more than that. And if I finish something in this chain, I can start something else only from this chain. But yeah, it uh, has to be only one whip at the same time, but if you, you know, count with the second chain, it can be two in this one. Why I did this, this uh, chain has pretty big um, whips projects in it. Well, I have zero whips so far in this one. I haven't started anything right now, but because we are big, uh, I'm allowing myself to play around with the chains and have uh, two at once. So first project in the chain is Pandemic by Long Dog. As you know, maybe it has over 77,000 of uh, crosses, so it's a, it's a big one and uh, it's gonna take me a while. So if I finish something from the second chain, I will be able to start something more from this chain, but only one whip and uh, five other designs in this chain. Is, uh, are the ones that I got from I think Happy Mood Point uh, shop on Etsy 
this is a shop that belongs to Uliana. She is from Ukraine, so I decided to support her. And uh, she had a sale, she's constantly refreshing the sale. She has like 50 or 40% off, uh, of her prices and those uh, charts are really, really nice. I loved uh, a lot of them and uh, the prices were ridiculous, like uh, 290, 3 something dollars. So they're really cheap for the size they are. Because those are digital patterns, I haven't printed them, I'm not really planning to print them. So I'm gonna just show you the pictures as I talk here. The first one is a sampler that is called uh, The Law of Nature. It is 251 cross by 329. The second one from five that I got to support Ukrainians um, is Quaker sampler that doesn't really, or Quaker design, that doesn't really have a specific name and only has a code. I'm gonna link the shop down below so that you can find it and check it out. This one is even bigger, 414 by 220 crosses. Third one is, I called it blue circle, but again it doesn't really have any specific name for it. It's a blue circle that has a diamond in it, as you can see. It's 294 by 294, so it's a square. The fourth one that I got from Uliana is uh, Flowers Feed the Soul. It is uh, 316 by 340. And I have kitted this uh, chart up. I already have fabric and uh, floss for it. But I'm gonna show you when we move to the whole section and the fifth one is a multi-colored sampler that also doesn't really have a specific name it has a code like if i wrote it down right it is ss065 it is 287 by 210 crosses before I move to the fourth chain, the third one, as you might have noticed, is about more simpler type of designs. I just want to ask you quickly if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed, click on the bell to get notified when I post new videos so that you don't miss it. Thank you. And let's move on to the fourth chain. So fourth chain is for Ukrainian designs again to support the designers that are from Ukraine. The first one and I also got all of these four charts this month or last month I should say. The first one is mushroom sampler. I don't remember the exact uh, design name but uh, yeah I have the chart and I already have kitted it up. I have a piece of fabric and they have all the floss. It only has like eight or ten colors. So it's gonna be fine. And it is a square 123 by 123 crosses. Another design is from another shop. It, it is basically, it has a nice air balloon. I'm gonna insert a picture here. And this one is a bit bigger, but it has a lot of half stitches, so it should go quite fast. Uh, another chart that I got uh, is also as like a, the previous one. It is designed by Svetlana Sichkar, and it's a bucket of uh, specific flowers. Sorry, I don't know how to call them in English. Bouquet Fionov, uh, Pionov in Russian. And another chart that I got from the same designer, the mushroom one is from Stitchy Princess. I, I think you have already heard about it, about her shop, because everyone is mentioning her. And these three are from Svetlana. 
So the third one I got from her is uh, is a nice uh, cup of tea with some additional elements. I'm gonna insert the picture here. And uh, the last fifth chain is uh, the designs that I'm gonna stitch from one of the books that I have. Uh, the first one is uh, that I'm really planning to stitch because it's gonna be for my cousin as a gift. Uh, it's gonna be daffodil designs. And once I finish that one, I'm gonna allow myself to start uh, one uh, one design out of three that I'm really into stitching. So that's uh, basically the, the strategy of chains to have some new starts to allow myself to start something but not to have you know too many whips and to keep myself sane. So yeah, if you like it you might uh, use the same idea or you can you know Modify it to make it work for you. Let's move on to the acquisitions or haul. The first fabric that I've got, well, I had it before, but I got all the floss that I need for uh, free chart by Marsha Brovko. I assume you know she's now taking the break from Etsy store because she's Ukrainian. And uh, all that is happening, it's just, you know, she said she needs a break. But she has designed a chart for her country that is called Glory to Ukraine. The chart is shared on her uh, Instagram, Marsha Provko. It's a really nice pattern, design. And uh, another chart that they kitted up is uh, I got this Sultana Hardanger 22 count that is like a antique white and I got uh, a bunch of uh, skeins of uh, DMC variegated 115 and I'm planning to stitch uh, Long Dog Pandemic on this one. Another chart that I have uh, kitted up is uh, the flowers that feed the soul by Uliana. This is uh, 25 count even weave. And I'm gonna stitch it in 310 DMC color. It's gonna be only black. Another chart is also Uliana's chart. No, I'm lying. Another chart is that uh, Stitchy Princess uh, chart uh, of mushrooms. So it's, as you can see, it's not many colors, but the design itself is not that big. And this is 28 count sand uh, even weave. Another uh, chart that I have kitted up is uh, daffodils that I'm gonna stitch from one of the books that I have and this is more like a nice light green it is called Feyens Grey if I'm pronouncing it right it is 28 count I'm gonna stitch 2 over 2 I also got uh, a couple of other fabrics this is 25 count ivory even weave that I might use if I decide to start uh, to restart actually my mini deer creep and another chunk of fabric is 20 count white Ada and this is it for haul what else can I say this is this this has been a crazy month I had to go to work for one day I picked up some things that were waiting for me since the new year I got uh, a cheese for winning, as you remember, maybe. We had uh, a detective game for Christmas at work, so we won uh, a good, really nice pieces of cheese. And then for the new year, we got uh, some chocolate that is in the shape of Mars with some nuts sticking out. And it uh, looks like really, you know, rough surface. I'm gonna insert a picture here. And uh, of course, you know that the war is happening in Ukraine. It is really frustrating for me to hear. Uh, I'm not Ukrainian, I'm not Russian, but uh, you know, Lithuania 
was a part of Soviet Union, so it's it's a really sensitive topic to me. We are the member of NATO, so we have a lot of uh, soldiers that came from the United States. They are having some training, some practicing. Oh man, it's 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 hard, but of course it's not as bad as it is in in Ukraine for Ukrainians. So I'm just sending my love for those who are from that country. I really want them to win this war, and hopefully less people die rather rather than than more. Of course, in this case, you cannot really avoid people dying because it's it's. It's a big tragedy, but uh, yeah, as I said, I'm sending my love um, and support for our friends in Ukraine. And I'm gonna link down below all of those uh, stores. I had uh, more uh, designs in my Etsy card, but uh, one of the stores is on the break too. So I cannot get them right now and support them that way, which is unfortunate, but uh, hopefully they are fine and they will come back soon so this is it for now thank you for watching stay safe pandemic is still happening though you know the news are all about the war yes take care of yourselves take care of each other be kind to each other and i'll see you next time bye bye